This video is about engineering aspect for icebreaker tanker ship. From the engineering aspect, there is four challenges in building an icebreaker tanker ship that will operate in extreme ice cover seawater. Breaking ice. The bow design for the icebreaker tanker ship is slightly different from the icebreaker ship. Due to the load vary on the ship, the ship designed to have a straight bow that slanted at the perfect ice breaking angle so that the ship can slide right on top the ice no matter how much the load is. Propulsion. To crush a thick ice in the frozen sea, a special propeller azipod attached to the ship. It can swivel through 360 degrees and the thrust can be pointed in any direction. In heavy ice condition, the ship moves the stern first and will suck in the block of ice and crush them into pieces. Protection. To reduce friction between the hull and the ice, the ship sucks seawater through a hole in its hull. The water then mixes with air and then shoots through the nozzle directly below the vulnerable shoulder that experiences most of the friction. The bubbly mixture provides a cushion between the hull so that the ship not getting stuck in the middle of frozen sea. The ship hull also painted with super slippery paint to avoid the snow freezing onto the cold steel hull. Ice Navigation Due to different type and thickness of ice in the frozen sea, the ship equipped with an advanced ice navigation system and a radar to detect the gap in the ice for safe course and quick path. It will show a unique electromagnetic signature on satellite image. Lesson learned. The lesson that I have learned is that we need to identify the design challenge, for example, the problem and a potential solution. We also need to consider existing approach like look at other solutions to the problem, like previous project and study why they work. Beside that, identify the need and constraint. Specify the requirement and limitation of the design. Other than this, brainstorm to come up with an idea and solution to the design challenge. Lastly, refine, modify and perfect what you have learned in the previous step. Thank you.